Hey everybody, how you doing? It's me, Brian, with Farmer in the Dell. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I uh, been busy with a few things, trying to get my business going. Um, tr actually, trying to keep this farm project going. It's been slow going, but we've been putting time out here when we can. Uh, still have the horse. He's doing good. As a matter of fact, I probably can show you him now. We got his lot cleared. I think I showed in one of his videos, or one of my videos, of the progress of clearing that uh, pasture for him. But yeah, here he is. <laughs> the echoes got him looking. But yeah, we got him took care of. He's got that little corral that he's in there. And he's got free range to go to a pasture that we cleared. I showed you all a few videos of that. Um, the latest project we've been working on is clearing an area for some chicken tractors. Uh, we've got one chicken out here now. We had two. Uh, I know some people are going to get mad at me for this. But we put two of them in a small cage. They were little chickens. Not chicks, but older old enough to be out in the weather anyhow we was kind of using them for live bait to try to catch a bobcat we wasn't sure if it was a bobcat or a coyote we got out here but uh it's eating one of the neighbors out here's chickens and uh well we set a trap and we tried to catch it and we ain't sure if that's what it is we caught but something twice got caught in the trap something big and got out twice and since then we haven't seen too much sign of it other than some scat up the trail but uh we've been clearing out an area for chickens we're gonna get some chicken tractors in here it's kind of rough looking now excuse me but uh this is what we got so far we got a nice little bit cleared well you can see over here we got the chicken she's running back and forth in her little pen she's by herself i'm sure she's losing her mind uh i'm clearing some brush up in here uh trying to get rid of all that little green undergrowth that's trying to come back up and get it all cleaned up and cleared up so we can get some grass seed in there and hopefully start construction on these uh chicken tractors i'm hoping to uh i'm hoping to put about 15 birds per tractor um but another project we've started out here doesn't have nothing to do with the farm other than when the fellas is out here me and the fellas and we got the kids and we got to get work done we've been clearing out a little area to put up playground equipment and stuff so they've got a little like park i guess you'd say to uh play in and keep themselves occupied and not stuck up our butts but i come in here a couple weeks ago and we eat all the tall grass down me and my buddy ryan come through here and cleared a lot of these trees you see here we got a bunch of them still to stack up a few more trees to take out of here get the stumps out uh and we need some more stuff but we got a little bit of equipment we're gonna put out here for them we're probably gonna build them a swing uh you know playground type stuff but uh we've been out here working i know my light's crappy right then uh We've been out here trying to get it done a little bit at a time. All of us got full-time jobs, families and whatnot, so we put in a little bit of time in the evenings when we can and when we feel like we got the extra energy, I guess, to put out towards it other than maintenance with the horse, cleaning up after him, feeding him, brushing him, all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of an update. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, here's my latest video i hope to make more we've got a few little projects since this coronavirus uh my wife started a couple little plant projects with the kids um we might go tomorrow and get some soil and come back out here and get some manure and mix it all together and put it in big big pots uh they planted pumpkins i think and sunflower seeds i'm thinking we'll uh Put the pumpkins and i got up some watermelon seeds and we'll start some watermelon too and we'll put them in these bigger 10 gallon pots and when they start to take off real good we'll probably move them out here to the property 
uh, find a spot for them and let them do their thing. It'll be kind of like raised beds, but in a 10 gallon pot, you know, let the vines run all over. But anyway, felt like doing a video. I know it's been a while. I don't know how many of my subscribers have been looking and waiting for a video. I'm sure not many of y'all have been waiting on one, but here's a video and I've got more to come. Uh, I need to get back on my grind and on my video and I get so busy with these projects I don't ever think about filming them or pictures or none of that but uh, we got more to come uh, thanks for watching if you like what you see if you're interested any of this piques your interest hit that subscribe button uh, we got plenty more to come uh, we might start doing some stuff on here that's kind of farm related I don't know we, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all.